Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the uh, second half of this Donruss Optic Basketball case. This is 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Six box, half case, pick your team, number sweet 16. There it is. Remember, I, uh, I think I, I did the first half, right? We marked those boxes with those uh, X's right there so we know they're all from the same case. A very big thanks to everyone here for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. There was also a uh, team random or a filler that we did. So if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that team in that filler. So thanks for uh, being a part of that. And I think Andy ended up with the official last spot mojo, Sixers. What's going on with Ben Simmons? Where could he possibly go? I don't think he's going to be... I mean, it doesn't seem like anyone's happy with him in Philadelphia. Where does he end up, ladies and gentlemen? Anyone have any guesses? What does he cost to the other team? Or will the Sixers just not trade him and just let him just let him rot on the bench? I mean, that that's a possibility too. Yen says Portland. So what does Portland give up to try to get? Oh, what happened? Got a couple basketball games happening right now. We've got uh, the Mavs are in Atlanta. Hawks are up 80 to 62 with a couple minutes left in the third quarter. And uh, the Bucks are in Miami. Heat up 53 36. The Heat dropped 40 on the Bucks in the first quarter. We got Clippers Warriors. Is the late TNT game. Uh, there's only three games on tonight. All right, and my Dodgers are playing right now, trying to battle elimination. They're up 3-2. Still early, though, very early. Dan, do you think Portland's going to send Damian Lillard out to Philadelphia for Ben Simmons? It's definitely a downgrade. I don't think Portland's going to do that. Philadelphia would love that. <laughs> that would be an incredible win for Philadelphia. Yeah, Portland's not trading Dane. <laughs> that would be that'd be kind of ridiculous, actually. Portland fans would riot, I would think. The Portland Trailblazers fans would boycott the team if they did that. Portland could be a good spot though. CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard in the backcourt, and they get someone like Ben Simmons, but I don't know who they could really, really move. Yeah, HP's even thinking, well, HP was saying earlier, it seems like a hard trade for a GM to even make in the first place. You have to really be all in on Ben Simmons and believe that he can fit your team and work with your team and you can build around him. But yeah, I don't think they'd even do CJ plus Covington, which has been discussed. There's Seth Curry, 19 out of 199 for the Sixers. And there's a the rookies, Anthony Edwards. Nice. Ooh, and a gold coming up here. Yen's thinking Ben Simmons plus Tyrese Maxey in a first rounder for Damian Lillard? I still... I don't know if Portland does that. Nice Anthony Edwards for Sean Maddock and the Timberwolves. And there's an Obi Toppin gold. Nice insert there for the Knicks. Derek Millant. Derek won that team in the filler. Three out of ten. Nice low number on that. Pretty exciting game last night between the Knicks and the uh, Celtics. There's Clay Thompson, Lime Green to 149. Yeah, I don't think Portland would do that either. Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey in a first round. 
Especially when that first round would probably be in like the 20s. But yeah, Philadelphia's in a tough spot though because I think they did their due diligence. They try to, you know, they try to find someone. Well, they try to make it work. They're trying to convince Ben Simmons, hey, let's make this work. But now there's Ben Simmons. There's Michael Bridges, by the way, for the Suns. There's Ben Simmons now just doesn't want to make it work. There's 31 out of 49, Alexei Pokusevsky. A lot of people talking about him being a possible... Uh, a breakout candidate this season for the Thunder, Ben, with OKC. Won that team. There's Giannis and Luka. All cards ship in this, do they or do they not? I don't know. No, all cards ship, but if Vet Common didn't ship, guys like Luka still would. And Giannis and LeBron. Rated rookie base, Obi Toppin. Looks like, looks like the machine that loads these cards. I put a little dent in there, but at least you got that. The gold Obi Toppin will make up for it. There's Kyle Kuzma, 153 out of 199. Still Lakers edition here. That'll be for Matt. And there's LeBron James stargazing hollow insert for Matt and my Lakers. Well, I think that's what the Sixers have to do. Can you just have him just be a distraction for the rest of the season, Carl? Or I guess up until the trading deadline, which is like in February? I don't know. Carl's right, I think. They just, just gonna have to take a loss to take less than what they value. But yeah, I mean, the list of teams that could possibly, that, that could want him and make it work is not, that list is not very high. And I'm sure there are a lot of GMs that, that agree with you, Carl, where they're like, you wouldn't want a player like that on your team. So I'm sure that, that, that keeps the list really short. But if you're a team that, that you have to believe that if you believe that Ben Simmons could be I don't know if he needs to be fixed per se, but if you believe that Ben Simmons can help you win games, I guess, then you want to try to make a move for him. And now I'll bet a lot of teams are just kind of sitting there, you know, thinking, oh, what are we Maybe maybe a lot of teams are thinking maybe we can just wait it out and see if we can get Ben Simmons at a bargain. So I think a lot of the NBA believes in Ben Simmons as a player, but not at the cost of the Sixers want him at. Luol Deng? I don't think Luol Deng was a real issue like that. Well, Luol Deng's not the player that Ben Simmons is first off. But I think the Lakers gave him a really bad contract. That's what it was. It was one of their, one of, a big front office mistake and then... And he wasn't really getting playing time because he wasn't very good. And then they had to buy him out or stretch out his contract and do all sorts of wacky stuff. And I think I think this year might be the first year we're not. I think we paid him. He was off the roster and he still got paid for a couple seasons. Pelicans? Ben, could Ben Simmons work on the Pelicans? I feel like Ben Simmons needs to be surrounded more by shooters, right? This is sort of like a... I guess you're looking at a poor man's Giannis. All right, next box. There's Mike Conley to 199. And there's Jalen LeCue. Signature Series autograph for the Pacers. That's going to go to Sean Maddock. Took is saying, uh, oh, the, the LSU connection? 
Yeah, but I mean, is that a good fit for the team, though? I don't know if it's going to be a good fit for the Pelicans. I feel like Portland would be a, would be a good fit, but I mean, you can't move guys like. There's a hollow Luka Doncic. Nice. That's for Dallas. That's going to go to Larry. But you can't move guys like C.J. McCollum or or Damon Lillard. So I don't know if they have the other pieces to get Luka Luka to get Ben on that team. No, Luka got locked up. He's not going anywhere. Pacers. Mark's thinking Pacers. That could be interesting. Who do the Pacers move, though? There's Serge Ibaka to 149. Clippers. That's going to go to Derek. There's James Weissman, the rookies. There's Kyrie to 99. Golden State, Rick won the Warriors in that filler. Maybe we'll find some parallels of him. It would be pretty cool. There's rated rookie James Wiseman. And a two out of five, Marcus Smart. And a nice color match there, too. Green matching the uniform. Two out of five, Marcus Smart. Larry with the Celtics. And out of five, under get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Hi, Cardinal. Any more basketball breaks for sale? Um, no, not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. We're trying to move that. Uh, we're trying to move some baseball tonight, like the transcendent tonight. Is, is my big goal. But keep your eye out on the site, all the time. I'm not the only one who's posting breaks, so someone there could be a basketball break loaded up. You never know. So keep checking jazbeescasebreaks.com every day, every hour, every minute, every second. What's going on with Marcus Smart? Isn't isn't Marcus Smart in the doghouse as well? Simmons for Nico Mannion? I'm sure the Warriors would love to do that. I don't think Nico Mannion's enough for uh, for the Sixers, though. But I mean, that's the idea, though, Mark. It's it's like you you need you need Ben Simmons as a uh, you need Ben Simmons as a, a surrounded by shooters, similar to not not saying that Ben Simmons is LeBron or Giannis, but he's a similar type of player needs to be built, you know, a similar sort of team has to be built around around Ben Simmons. And if Ben Simmons ever develops a shot, then an outside shot, because he can play make, but you know, if you give him a chance to develop an outside shot, I mean, he could be a really dangerous player. Right, Mark would love for his Warriors to make that deal. But no, I think the Sixers are asking for, like, Weissman. And at that point, if you're the Warriors, you're kind of like, eh. <laughs> you know, but if if the Sixers come off that, you know, for example, James Weissman as a starting point, I think that's what a lot of teams are kind of waiting for. Like, which kind of, which sucks 
for the uh, which sucks for the Philadelphia for the Sixers and Sixers fans because you don't have the leverage with other teams. There's Zach Collins to 199. But then at some point you have to cut your losses, right? Sean with Portland gets the Zach Collins. And there is a Nikola Jokic, 76 out of 99. Denver, Larry with the Nuggets. Won that team. I think Nuggets beat the Suns last night. There's Devontae Graham to 149. And an Anthony Edwards autograph. Rated rookie blue autograph. Going to Minnesota, Sean Maddock. Gets the rated rookie auto 21 out of 49. Woo! That's sharp. That's really nice. Congrats. Have the uh, have the Timberwolves played yet? Did they play yesterday? They did. They beat the Rockets 124 to 106. Apparently Anthony Edwards had a big dunk. Anthony Edwards opened the season playing 31 minutes, 29 points, 6 rebounds, a few assists, a steal. Plus minus of plus 26. You like that. I like that in a player like that. There you go. Keep it going. And a Tyrese Halliburton. Rated rookie hollow for Serenity and the Kings. Is this the year for the Timberwolves? I always feel like on paper they, they, they're, they always look like a good team. But, I mean, if if Anthony Edwards scoring 29 points, you know, and Carlton Towns getting 30 and 10, D'Angelo Russell dropping 22 points, it's a pretty dangerous team there. And right, we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break. We're halfway through this half case break, about another 15 minutes or so to go. And even guys like Jaden McDaniels, Josh Okogie, they've got some youngsters there that are that could that could be the perfect role players around that team. They got a Jared Vanderbilt there, Nas Reed, Jalen Noel, I mean, they got some players. They got some depth there. Hmm. So Kings won, beat Portland last night, Mark saying, but uh, Halliburton only scored two points. Sorry, still early. Got my Dodgers on in the background trying to stave off elimination. They're still up 3-2 in the third. Bottom of the third. Trying to take it one game at a time. Another box. So far, so good. A lot of nice hits been being marinated in here. And there's a Black Velocity Anthony Edwards, 26 out of 39. Wow. 
The hits just keep on coming for Minnesota. Sean Maddock with the T-Wolves. There's another Halliburton. Base Halliburton. Tyler Bay, rated rookie hollow. Jared Allen to 199. There's Elijah Hughes for the Jazz to 149, Lime Green. And an Obi Toppin. Wow, gold vinyl autograph. What a break. This is an Obi Toppin Dominators insert autograph. Gold vinyl. Should be, there's the one of one right there. There it is, right at his elbow. One of one. How did Obi, Obi Toppin, I know, played played yesterday. There was like a, there was that double overtime game where the Knicks beat the Celtics 138-134. How did Mr. Toppin do? Not bad, 28 minutes, 14 points, a handful of rebounds, a block. Yeah, that's a solid line. There you go, New York Knicks, Derek. Got into the filler, got randomized the Knicks, gets the Obi Toppin, and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Really nice break here, really nice break. Al Horford, 28 out of 79. All right, the Horford goes to OKC. That'll be for Ben. And there's LeBron. This is the last year he'll be a Laker 23. He's Laker 6 now. All right, two boxes to go. Yeah, for Obi Toppin, those are solid numbers. And Mark, Mark Lars saying, thinking he thinks he came off the bench, too. So that's, that's even better. Good bench numbers. That It's good for the hobby if, uh, if, um, if the New York Knicks, obviously a big market team, if the New York Knicks... You know, can start to be playoff contenders again regularly. I mean, that's going to be awesome. Ooh, Dodgers scored a run. Where was this offense all series? Um, Julius Randle had 35 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. What a game for him. Is that... Is that Mitchell Robinson with 17 rebounds? Yeah, nice. This is Mitchell Robin third year Mitchell Robinson. 11 points, 17 rebounds and a few assists, couple blocks. Good for him. Kemba Walker had 10 points, 8 rebounds, a few assists. Fournier had 32 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 steals and a block. Very active. And RJ Barrett, a solid 19 points, handful of rebounds, a couple assists, couple blocks for him too. Obi Toppin, we talked about him, 14 points off the bench, handful of rebounds. How did Quickly do? Only eight minutes for Quickly, but a couple, a bucket for him, an assist and a steal.
So, yeah, if the Knicks do well, that's hashtag good for the hobby, I say. You know, guys like Julius Randle, if he's playing like this in New York, I mean, he could achieve legend status pretty well. I, r I really wish the Lakers kept him, to be honest with you, ages ago. I was kind of bummed about that. And there's our first Lamello, base Lamello. Rated rookie card going to Sean Maddock and the Charlotte Hornets. Sean going big, getting the Hornets and the T-Wolves in this. Oh, we got a lime green, Draymond green, 78 out of 149. For the Warriors, Rick. There's Aaron Gordon, 81 out of 99 for Orlando. That's for Sean. Devin Vassell, 177 out of 199 for the Spurs, Coppola. And Jay Sean Tate, Dominators autograph for the Rockets. And he's had some nice moments too for the Rockets last season. Sheng with the Rockets. Forty-five out of ninety-nine. Skylar Mays, rated rookie, pink velocity to 79. Yeah, Timberwolves got a lot of pieces. Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, Jaden McDaniels, Jalen Noel. All right, last box coming up. Good luck, everybody. So far, so good. Hopefully, this last box will finish strong on this last box. the other games, other NBA games here. We've got the Hawks are cruising. They're up 104 to 177 on the Mavs. People were saying in the chat or the Luka having a rough game here. Yeah, 35 minutes so far, but 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists, but minus 24 on the plus minus, so, so not looking good there. How are the Hawks doing here? They're looking good. John Collins, 16 points. DeAndre Hunter, 11 points. Capella, 12 points. Trey Young, 19 points and 14 assists. Cam Reddish, 20 points. 20 points in 20 minutes. Yeah, it'd be good for, I mean, John Collins I've always liked, but... Uh, John Collins I've always liked, but yeah, Cam Reddish would be pretty nice. Carlos, you do not have the Knicks in this. Derek Melanson has the Knicks in this one. I don't think I even, you're, you're not even in this break. 
This is Pick Your Team 16. Maybe you're thinking this is Pick Your Team 15, perhaps? All right, final box. Good luck. And we've got a Kristaps Porzingis Lime Green. I thought it was going to be an autograph for a second. Dallas, that's going to be for Larry. 29 out of 149. Pokusevsky. Aaron Gordon. And a Redemption. So the... Pokusevsky Hollow will go to Ben and the Thunder. The Aaron Gordon for Orlando and Sean. Dante DiVincenzo Hollow. And that, my friends, is that. Let's see what the last auto is going to be behind the Seven of Hearts. It is a rated rookie signature. Good luck, everybody. K. Killian? Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes is a piston, right? He, Killian Mbappe plays for Paris Saint-Germain, and Killian Hayes, also French-American Detroit Pistons. There you go. So Detroit, congrats to you. That's going to be for Sheng. And a free top loader. And here is a quick little recap of the autographs. This is a pretty great break. Got the Lamello, got the Tyrese Hollow, got the Marcus Smart out of five. Some James Weissman's, Luka Doncic, Stargazing LeBron, a gold Obi Toppin, three out of ten. And a one of one Obi Toppin, Dominator's insert autograph. There's the one of one right at his elbow right over here. Black Velocity Anthony Edwards and a blue Anthony Edwards autograph, 21 out of 49. What a break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Panini, Donruss, Optic Basketball, Half Case, Pick Your Team number 16. I'm Joe, and I'll hoop with you next time. Bye-bye.